Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's about mid-December here in California, so it's getting a bit chilly. It's about 43 degrees outside. I'm gonna walk you through today some new software updates in the Tesla. And for those of you that don't have a Tesla, it's a wonderful thing to get software updates on a Tesla. It's like a Christmas present whenever they're released. So let's go through some of the latest ones. I haven't done this in a while, so we're gonna go through a few different versions and highlight a couple key items. We'll show you how they can be configured and how easy it is to get those actually on the car and in the car. So let's get started. Here. So the first thing you wanna do is click on the car icon here, and then let's go down to software and we're gonna click on release notes. And when I open up the release notes, it's gonna show us everything in chronological order of when it was actually released. So you can see here just last night, um, I got some minor fixes overall. So this is what they call miscellaneous improvements. My guess is there was a bug or two and they just wanted to update some of those things. You can see some of the other release items down below. I did a software update a couple uh, months back, so we're not gonna go through all of them today. I'm gonna highlight a couple key ones that might be of interest to you. As I was mentioning before, having a Tesla and getting software updates is one of the most amazing things um, about a Tesla. It's like getting a present every time there's a software update with new features, new capabilities, and things like that. So it's a pretty amazing thing to have. It's the only car I've ever had that's allowed me to do that. So pretty, pretty exciting. So let's take a look here. The first one is rear cabin uh, climate controls that really enhance the capabilities. So to kind of, let's, let's dive into this one and take a look. So at any point I can go ahead and click on my climate controls here. And if I can click on rear, you can see now we have control of the rear of the car here. So if I unsync it, so right now it's synced with the climate controls for the front of, car, front of the car. If I unsync it, then I do have the ability to control the fan, differently down here, the temperature and things like that. And as we discussed in my climate control video before, you can also control heated seats. You can control how hot each seat is. And it's really nice to be able to have that full capability on the front uh, screen here. So that's really nice. And then again, of course, I can go back to the front climate controls as well. So that's really nice to have that. Uh, another update was on the driver profiles. Um, one of the things for you that, for, for those of you that don't have a Tesla may not know is you can set up a profile in the car. This is really good if you yourself and your wife or if you have a husband, whatever it may be, you can set up a specific profile for you. That way when you get in the car, when you have your key or you have your fob or you have your card, it will automatically adjust all of the different uh, climate controls that you like for yourself. It'll adjust the yoke to the right height and the right position. It will adjust your seat to the right height and the right position for your profile. It does it automatically if you have your car um, fob, the key fob when you come into the car. Now what they're doing is one of the other things that Tesla can do with autopilot is that depending on that key fob, it will automatically put the destination of your work address in the navigation. So as soon as you enter your car, it will start navigating you directly to that work address. And that way it's assigned to you as a profile. If my wife were to get into the car and she actually worked, which she doesn't work, but if she did work, then she would automatically be able to navigate herself there as well. Same thing with coming home later in the day. So really nice improvements with what you can do with profiles. The next one is the Sentry mode with live cameras. So this came out in another release. This is very cool. This gives you the capability of seeing the cameras around the car directly from your mobile app. And um, I'm gonna show you right here how this works. Take a look. Okay, as you guys can see here, I have the Tesla mobile app here. Let's go ahead and show you how this sentry mode works. You can go ahead and click on uh, security here, and then you'll see sentry mode here. Um, I can go ahead and enable that on the, on the phone directly here, and then you can click on view live camera and so it's going to connect 
and it's going to show you what the front of the car looks like live directly through the mobile app which is great and then you can even pivot to the side cameras as well which is also that's me standing here recording these as well as the other uh, side camera and even the rear of the car as well so you can see pretty easy to toggle back and forth no problem at all um, to see all those capabilities there's the rear of the car and we can go back to the front of the car so pretty cool to have that capability all directly in the mobile app uh, just takes a little bit to connect to the internet and refresh on the camera itself but it's pretty live i'll go ahead and walk into the front of the car so you can see um, the speed of the capability of it so again just takes a second it's just slightly delayed but you can see how nice that is. So pretty, pretty darn cool from a security standpoint. Okay, so as you could see there, you could see directly how easy it is to see all the different cameras around your car. This can be very, very convenient, especially if you're not near your car, if you parked your car at a mall, if you parked your car at a stadium, if you're watching a basketball game or a football game, you can see all around your car really easily, all directly through the camera, which is a great, really nice feature. So let's go ahead and take a look at add and stop navigation improvements. This is something that people have wanted in a Tesla for a long, long time. This gives you the capability of navigating to a certain destination but adding in a stop or two while you're going. So this will not break the navigation, but it will add, you'll be able to add another stop or two. So if I go ahead and click on navigation, uh, actually let's get out of this area and I'm gonna go ahead and click on navigation. Let's say I'm gonna go to this location right here. It's gonna start looking for that, but let's say I wanna add a stop. So all of a sudden you just click on this plus mark at the very top. Let's say I wanna go buy a Starbucks first. So you can see now you can just easily add another destination. Here's where I'm located now. So it's actually gonna take me to the Starbucks first, and then it's gonna go to the next destination automatically for you. So that's a great capability of um, navigation now on Tesla's that you can actually stop at multiple locations. Okay, let's go back to our software updates and go back to our release notes. So that, that feature I really like, I think that's gonna be very handy. All right, next is cold weather improvements. Uh, this is overall cold weather improvements. So this allows for better defrost capabilities and a couple other key things that are available. You can also make these um, go on in the car even when the car is parked so it can stay warm while you're parked, which is really nice if you're just going in uh, to a quick Starbucks to grab a coffee or something like that. That's really nice to have that kind of capability. The next is uh, this one I've been waiting for for quite a while. So this is the active ro road noise reduction. So this is supposed to be like the noise canceling capability. So this is going to be really nice. For some of you that have seen my um, Tesla videos that I have on my channel, I actually did um, a few noise tests with uh, measuring the decibels that were in the car at different speeds. I'm gonna re-record that new video here in the next couple of weeks with this new capability now currently working. So this is supposed to make the cabin internally quieter and remove a lot of the road noise um, through this noise canceling capability. So this is gonna be something really exciting to see. I'm really excited to re-record those videos. I'm gonna hit the exact locations that I went on before. For those of you that have not seen that noise uh, decibel video recording I have, I'll put it in the comments below. Um, and then we're gonna record a new one with this in the next couple of weeks and you'll be able to hear how this may um, enhance the experience in the cabin and actually remove a lot of the noise itself. All right, the next one is um, basically a new streaming service that's available. Um, I'm not really into this uh, particular streaming service, but that's an option available. Let's go into the rear display improvement. So this gives you the capability of locking the display. Maybe you have some kids back there that shouldn't be fiddling around with it or adjusting it or forcing it. You know, if you do play uh, like YouTube videos back there, it actually will play uh, the audio in the entire cabin. Um, so far, they don't have a Bluetooth uh, connection just for that display yet. Uh, that is the plan from what I hear from Tesla. 
um, that they will allow you to head up to, to set up Bluetooth headphones as well as remote controls to play games on that screen in the rear of the car. So far that has not been released yet, um, but you can lock that screen now. So that's a, another enhancement. Uh, traffic aware cruise control with a chime. This is a really nice um, way of um, navigating with autopilot and using the, the cruise control capability um, in the car. So it does allow you to um, be more traffic aware while you're using that autopilot in the car. Uh, this is a great feature. I use autopilot uh, with this traffic aware cruise control all the time. I mean, it's actually my favorite way to use autopilot and that cruise, cruise control is just amazing. Uh, new language support. So they now are supporting uh, British English, which is different than uh, American English. So uh, that is an, another great capability. So um, really, really nice to have that as well. Um, okay, next is mobile app improvements. So they've made some improvements to the mobile app. Um, not sure exactly what all those are. Oh, this gives us the full capability of adjusting um, our charge controls, settings, departure, or scheduled all directly through the mobile app, which is really nice to have. All right, next is some yoke behavioral changes. And one very in particular that I just love here is with the turn signal. So this gives us the capability that when, um, when I'm driving or anyone's driving a Tesla um, and they use the turn signals, which you know are these buttons now in the yoke, um, when you do um, go into another lane or you make a right turn, the turn signal will automatically turn off. You don't, you will never be one of those individuals that's driving straight along a highway and the turn single signal is just blinking and blinking and blinking. This feature automatically turns that off once the car understands that you've actually made that turn. So that's a pretty amazing feature. I've been using this now for quite a while, a couple of weeks, because uh, this got released a while ago. And I will tell you, it's pretty darn cool. So I really like it. It's a small little thing, but I really, really like it a lot. So anyways, uh, take a look at that. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy that. Again, a really, really smart feature. All right, auto, par auto park capabilities. So for those of you that wanna see a video on the auto park, I'll put a link down below. I did a whole video on just how good this auto park works. It's a pretty amazing feature. So this is when it did get released. Um, a, a little while ago, but I just haven't talked about it um, in the release notes. So I wanted to highlight that here, but I'll put a link to that auto park video down below. Cold weather improvements. So these are some of the other items we were talking about where um, you can adjust the weather, um, uh, climate controls. It will improve the defrost capabilities, all, king, all kinds of things like that, which is really nice. So there's some things you can do with the uh, windshield wipers, the wash, all those types of things that are really nice and automatically preparing uh, the cabin prior to you getting in the car in the morning. Most people like when they head into work, they're always leaving at the same hour. So if you always leave at like 7.30 a.m., the car will prepare the cabin with the right temperature controls and everything. All right, language support. So additional languages they've launched. This is gonna be really good for a lot of people. Uh, that are living in a number of these other countries out there. So um, not only the display language and the touch screen, um, but other types of improvements as well. And then our bio weapon defense mode, which is the capability of turning that on. I've used this particular feature quite a bit in uh, areas where um, maybe it doesn't smell that great outside. I've also used this uh, on a road trip when I drove up to Bend, Oregon. Um, over the summer and uh, this was really nice to have this when uh, at that time there was a lot of forest fires in Northern California so it was really nice to have this kind of capability um, and be able to turn this on so now the rest of the items I already went through so I just only wanted to highlight a few for you guys today um, really hope you guys enjoyed the videos if you guys have any questions or comments please put them down below as many of you know I do take recommendations 
on videos and I will record those videos for you guys. If you guys have any of those questions, please put those notes below. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that. Uh, really is helpful for us and I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great winter break and holidays coming up here. Uh, it's going to be a fabulous time for me and my family, and I hope it is for yours as well. Take care, everyone.